Welcome to Leeds Wine TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And um, so we're going to do something here again. Another, um, you can tell I'm doing the HEB kick right now. Uh, another just kind of typical supermarket wine. And um, Smoking Loon, this is uh, one of those brands that's been around for just a little while. And uh, you've seen it a lot and you've seen it at restaurants. So I thought I would check it out. Plus, I had somebody. Uh, see, I needed to really try this, and I think it was this this particular varietal, but I don't remember. Um, anyway, so let's get right into it. It's the 2007 Smoking Loon Pinot Noir. Uh, now, this is a uh, got it for six dollars twenty nine cents at HEB, and uh, this is a California appellation. So that what that means is that these guys are able to get their grapes from anywhere in California and uh, use it to make the wine. Doesn't matter where their winery is located, um, and they have quite a few varietals uh, under the Smoking Loon label uh, and their varietal wines. Um, I went ahead and got it because you know it's out there, so many of you may have had it or have wanted to try it. It's readily available, and uh, we'll check it out. Nose is a little stuffed. So I get I get a bit of strawberry and cherry. I get a bit of smoke to it. Um, kind of barbecue smoke type of thing. So not unpleasant on the nose. So we'll see how it tastes. It pretty much tastes like it smells. Um, you get a barbecue type flavor to it or feeling with um, some of the fruits, kind of a cherry. And a bit of spice to it, kind of a black pepper, pepper spice to it. It's, you know, it's tasty. And for six bucks, I'd say definitely get it. Um, if I put a rating on it, I'd say it's probably 87. I mean, I really like this. I was, I, I didn't expect to like it. And that's, that's, I think that's what surprised me a little bit. I was expecting to not like this wine. Um, and I think it's just because I've had some unpleasant experiences with American Pinot Noir or California Pinot Noir. And um, so my expectation was I probably wouldn't like it that much. But I do, I like it, I like this a lot. And the price is right, I mean, a $6 wine, you kinda can't go wrong with that. Um, so a few things about Smoking Loon. Um, the family that runs, or that has this label, they actually started making wine under the Sebastiani label back in 1904. Uh, Samuel Sebastiani came to the United States from Italy in 1895. Um, so over the years they made wine. They also had a cannery uh, as, at one point. Uh, I don't know if it's still around, but they mention it in their history. Uh, Don Sebastiani uh, took over the winery in 1986. Um, in 2001 he 
or in between 86 and 2001, some things happened. He sold some, some of the stuff I guess they were responsible for. They kind of rebought some of the properties. Um, but in 2001, he establishes the company called Don and Sons International Wine Negotiant. So that was meant to be what like a negotiant does is they, they, they get juice from all over and they make wines uh, and put it out under, under various labels. Just kind of still tasting the wine and it's getting kind of sour. There's nothing wrong with it, but it, it the fruitiness seems to be kind of going away a little bit. I think 87 is still a fair score for it. So anyway, anyway, back to the history. Uh, 2000, 2004, um, he and his sons established what's called the Three Loose Screws Wine Company. This is one of the labels as part of that company along with uh, Pepperwood Grove. It's the one of the green label that is in, in a lot of places and restaurants. Um, I don't think I've, I think I've had one of the Pepperwood Grove wines before, not, not during this, not during the run of 1337 Wine TV, but I've had it in the past and it was, it was good. I mean, it was one of those, really, it was actually pretty decent. Kind of like my reaction to this. Um, so they've been around for a while. Uh, so the families are making wine. It's not just some you know dude that had a bunch of money and said, "Hey, I want to make some wine," and bought a vineyard. Okay, I mean the the, the guy, the people that are behind the wine are um, have been making wine for a while, and um, it's pretty. You know, I think it's pretty tasty. It's a wine you can definitely drink on its own. You don't need to put it with food, um, though. I mean, if you put it with you know a nice cheese and meat tray, I think it would do great. Anyway, um, that's going to do it for today's show. And uh, as always, friend me up on Twitter, Facebook, hit the iTunes subscription thing. Give me $6.29 to pay for the wine. A little contribution down there via PayPal. Uh, or you can do a subscription, $5 a month. And um, t-shirts. Don't have any hats yet. Maybe I'll bring some hats eventually. What I really want to do is find a place that I can do the same thing with Zazzle and get like a wine glass. But see, I can't find any place that will do that where it's like print on demand type of thing. You gotta buy them. And I don't, I'm not gonna spend all that money to have a, cases and cases of wine glasses. Anyway, um, that's gonna do it for today. I hope all of you have a wonderful weekend. Pick some of this stuff up, maybe uh, for your uh, drinking pleasure over the weekend, and maybe to uh, take care of. Your taxes, you know, after you've filed your taxes, help with that headache, maybe relax you a little bit. Um, and we'll see everybody again uh, on Monday.